Hey guys, welcome to the review for Halloween Kills, but first, a word from our sponsors. Hey guys, it's October, it's a spooky time Best of year, time ever. but you know what's really scary? Putting your personal data out there over unsecured Wi-Fi, in public places, <gasps> on your cell phone, <gasps> it's why you need a VPN like Surfshark. <laughs> Surfshark! With uh, recent breaches, uh, the word won't say. <laughs> 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 it's, it's time to take care of yourself. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Protect your data. In addition, guys, you get unlimited usage for friends and family. You've got access to 15 Netflix libraries from different countries when you just set the geolocation. Guys, never let anybody tell you what content you can and can't access. And then protect your own content with Surfshark, guys. We got a deal for you, of course. Uh, with the Angry Joe Show, you can get 83% off a two-year plan, and that's going to come with three extra months for free. All you got to do, click the link down below. Just explore it. Trust me, we've done the research. This is the VPN that you want to get. Uh, Angry Joe Show. Oh, no, it's surfshark.deals backslash Angry Joe Show or forward slash. I always get that wrong. <laughs> All right, guys. Well, hopefully you enjoy the video. Check it out. Thank you to Surfshark. Uh, let's jump right into the review. I can't find my freaking mask. I'm it sorry. I wanted to I <laughs> knife in a mask. but So no props on this one. Let's get right into the movie, uh, whether it was worth it or not. So... Um, we know Joe didn't like the previous one, four out of ten. I gave it a six slashes out of uh, ten. Alex, shit, I don't remember what Alex gave it. Uh, but I got to <laughs> say, I really freaking liked this one. I hated it. I don't normally like slashers. Don't I love really slashers. identify with Michael Myers. And I think kind of his films are ridiculous and kind of boring. The first one, obviously, technically sound and great, but... Um, I see him as the least kind of scary of them. Um, and so slashers, so that combined with slashers are not my thing. I was surprised at how entertained I was with this one because there is a huge body count. This slasher kept me entertained from start to finish. It was a payoff. Here's what I wanted. When I saw that trailer, I was like, I want Michael Myers to go up against a fucking mob of people. And I want to see who wins. Evil and I fucking dies got that. Tonight. I got that. And and for getting that and for all the creative kills and the gore and Michael being Michael and it seeming like more realistic what would happen in certain aspects. Obviously, there are ridiculous, uh, cringy, uh, you know, uh, hokey stuff in it still. But I enjoyed it very much. What about you, Joe? Uh, Halloween I think we kills differ on this. my night, huh? <laughs> it kills uh -huh. my night. <laughs> Trying to see if this is a fucking comedy. <laughs> I don't know, man. The, no, it did I, have some comedic elements I to it. I did not like this. I, I just feel like they did Michael Myers dirty on this one. Like, like Really? <sighs> what? Yeah. His body this, count is huge. I don't think it was. I think we the, need to go what? recount. And it, it was felt more like a Tucker Dell kind of situation. Did you watch a completely different film? Where these idiots killed themselves because they're dumbasses. Nobody killed themselves. That's what Alex wanted. Alex wanted somebody to shoot themselves because oh, they they're fucking dumbasses. They no, did. they didn't. Sort of. He made her kill she herself. He made her kill herself, Joe. <laughs> it was, uh, no. The body count is fucking huge. No, no I didn't really like I think it one. did him justice because the thing that makes Michael Myers scary is that it is motherfucking indiscriminate killing. It does, and this film does such a good job of creating yeah, these wacky characters that are interesting to watch, that are precious, vulnerable, old, uh, old little old ladies that are fucking awesome, driving around little fucking drones, and cool, like, shit like that, and it, interesting setups, and you're thinking, oh, there's no way. The, this, this character, they're gonna keep the character going because it's cool. No. Motherfucking Michael comes Everyone's in and dead. fucking yeah. obliterates people and for no fucking reason. And that's what makes him scary. Yeah, they do this one with the nostalgia because they bring uh, the old characters back. So that's, yes. that's the big thing. All the originals. Mm -hmm. uh, that that uh, survived Michael's first survived Michael, yeah. yeah. Uh, I hated every single person in this movie who had a speaking line other than Big and Little John. 
and they were they were just precious. The guys from Mad TV. I uh, oh, I, yeah, them, uh, it was so great. You're that little kid. Look what I can do. Yeah. Look what I can yeah, do. Yeah, I, I got it. Look, they, they were great, and uh, everyone who had a speaking line in this movie, I hated. I rooted against them. Same. I was glad when they died. Anytime Michael got hurt, it made me sad because he was the <laughs> only too. person that I liked in this movie. <laughs> Y'all were rooting uh, for Michael, and I it it was almost like a Prometheus type thing where you hate the characters so much you just want them to die. Yes. And so when they did yes. die, and look, there's some great violence in this movie. Like yeah. great. Maybe I'm Gork. dark because like I wanted these people to die, and I liked oh. seeing no, I, the no, I like that. I was, the I violence was, was great. That. Like yes. the the you get all the slack, and it's not slasher. Like there's there's some there's gory shit gore. in this stuff. Um, but like I said, anytime anyone is talking in this movie, it is it is awful. Like for me, it was awful. Everyone is stupid. Be like it's a cartoon level stupid. That's I almost, how I, felt I like, almost mm-hmm. felt like where you were talking about. It almost felt like a, a horror comedy movie because yeah. they're cartoonishly bad. You're right. And I think I would have liked this movie. They give a bunch of teenagers weapons who've never fired it before. They've got no trigger <laughs> discipline, and they had been had they been like shooting each other, like Tucker and Dale <laughs> versus Evil. Which isn't is, there one moment at the fucking end where I don't want to say I think somebody does end up shooting somebody else, and we missed it. I don't think so. Okay, I, 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 I know what I you're look, talking about. But you have all of these idiots trying to fight, you know, pure evil. And I wanted him to kind of be looking around with a knife in his hand going like, well, I wanted to kill you. And you idiots kept shooting each other. That's exactly what I wanted because, like, he's always looking out the window. I just want to see him looking out the window and them dumbasses shooting each other We're with hitting guns. each other with cars he's and like, shit. this is too fucking <laughs> yeah. easy. Wait a minute, wait a minute, Joe. You're complaining about comedy elements and then you fucking because whip this that is a out. Fucking that jo- would be a motherfucking a comedy. comedy. That would have been a good joke. This was a yes. bad joke. No, like, the comedy yes. in this, I, it, was, it was very cringy and awkward. And I turned to Melissa and I was like, what the fuck is going yeah. on? But I was entertained the whole fucking time. The movie knows what you want. The movie knows what you're there for. And it is entertaining. And I thought that the awkwardness, the Big John, Little John, you know, that that char- those characters would not be in previous Halloweens, especially no. when they're taking it serious. But I appreciated that they're getting a little fun with this series and and wacky, not just with Michael's kills, but with the characters here. It gives it this really awkward tone <laughs> that's kind of it keeps it. It's chaos, mm-hmm. it, and and chaos is happening at all times here. And this entire town is put into fucking chaos. Now, if it was because a real situation, and I like the fact that it's like okay. There's a fucking killer on the loose. He's killing a ton of people. Let's fucking, you know, group up and let's get this motherfucker, you know? And I think that that would happen. But I also think that the police would be out way more in force. They would help. They would ask for other fucking police forces to come out. They would get SWAT teams. They would get military if they need to. They don't do none of that. It's fucking morons with pitchforks and two by fours. And that's the aspect that these guys hated because uh, those people act like dumbasses. Yeah, they act like dumbasses. They, you know, people die that shouldn't die. There's all sorts of horrible shit in in this movie that I hate. I liked it more than the previous film. Uh, did you like the previous one? I have no idea what was my I, what was my score. I don't remember. Fuck! I looked up everybody's score, but you. Yeah. Keep going. Uh, I gave this one. Uh, the original uh, one you gave a four. A four. Uh, yeah, I like that one better than this one. I do. What? Yeah. Get the fuck out of here, Joe. Are you <laughs> serious? Name. No, no, Joe. Stay. <laughs> you can have no, a different I, opinion. I, I We've gotten serious. better uh, at that over the years, but I am shocked, Joe, because, <laughs> no, because you're about honestly, I went in there. satisfying kills and gore yeah, yeah, and I'd love that. having fun, and this film is exactly that. I, I guess it, I Don't just let hated... Joe's <laughs> I, I guess I just really you. hated the fucking characters. I fucking hated Tommy. I fucking hated Lon... Uh, Lonnie, whatever the fuck his name is. I don't don't remember their names. Yeah. They don't it deserve like, it. Evil dies tonight. You, let's do everything stupid that we can. Mike Myers just laughing back there. Like, <laughs> Please, Michael, just show up and slice him. But, oh, he's here. Thank you. Thank but, God, but Mike. But that's him. what the film was doing. Don't uh, you no, get it? No, that's like, why the, uh, all I these fucking like the people other ones, died. Like, it was like... Yes, okay. it didn't take itself too seriously, but it was still still kind of a serious tone. Mm-hmm. But it was a slasher. This is like 
almost it's almost comedy level. I was I um, I busted out laughing like almost like twice, maybe more. At, at, like, at that's parts so that you're not supposed stupid. to laugh at, yes. or parts that you're supposed to laugh at, Joe. Uh, not supposed to okay, laugh. Okay, we'll at. talk about it in spoilers. <laughs> you tell me which ones. But I thought it was a satisfying slasher that's entertaining from start to finish. It is a fucking high octane ride. It is. It's very. Uh, chaotic, and it's supposed to be. This guy is just, mo- you know, murdering everybody, popping in and out, except for the film actually says he was actually going in a straight line. That doesn't make sense because it, it should be very easy to find this person uh, with 80 people. But yeah. anyways, um, there, I liked like it. 80 idiot people. Gore-filled yeah. and, and, and satisfying. So let's go to final verdicts then. Final verdict for me is a goddamn three. Damn, Joe. Less. I what honestly, the like, fuck? I just feel like they did him dirty on this one. Like, I like so much. Like, I was just so sidetracked by everything that was so fucking dumb, especially in the hospital scenes. I was like, "What the fuck are you guys doing?" I guess that's what happens when it, you cause chaos. It's like, yeah, evil dies. You strike. don't like stupid Let's, people. No, no, but <laughs> don't. Stupid people get killed in this. The point. What is the insurance Doesn't company? Doesn't that make you happy when they get killed for being stupid? Yeah, but it's like that com- that that insurance company commercial where the teenagers are like, "No, let's not get in the car. Let's hide behind the chainsaws." <laughs> oh, yeah. It's like that level okay. stupid. Yeah. But it's taking it. So it's not. You're not supposed to laugh at them. You're like, "Wow, th- this is this is what you're doing." All yeah, right. and honestly, I was kind of hoping. I was like, "Okay, good. You got some of these old guys from. Mm-hmm. They like go. Oh, they're gonna go do some cool shit." No. Mm-hmm. Because they're fucking no. pissed. Yeah, they're pissed. These survivors, of, uh, they get, gather at a bar every Halloween and kind of celebrate and, and reflect on their... Their, their loved ones. Uh, their victim. Whatever they lost. Yeah, the, what they lost and stuff. And these are the people that are like, oh, fucking Michael's back. Let's fucking get He's it. been in jail for 30 plus years. Mm-hmm. They, they <laughs> act like he's been out every single Halloween doing shit. And he's yeah. been gone for 30 years. Yeah. That's true. So like, there's... So 30 yeah. years, they had 30 of those. And they're parties. like hanging out going, you dies tonight. It's like, motherfucker, you probably barely remember the shit that yeah. happened. And honestly, like I was going in for like a, just a dumb slash movie. Like I was going in with low expectations. That's what it was. No, no, not for me. Like I've seen other slashers. This one was just like, all right, people doing dumb ass shit. It's like, oh, do you remember that one time we made out? I like you. I liked you. Uh, do you remember that one time we went to the yeah. house? I didn't go to the house. Do you remember that one time? Yeah. It's like, I'm, I'm here for Halloween. I'm here for Mike Myers. I'm here for Mike Myers getting kills. And that's care. exactly what this film was, Joe. Uh, All right. Uh, we disagree. Yep. Alex? Uh, I think this is a below average horror slasher movie. I think that when he's killing people, it's incredibly satisfying. Yes. I actually think it ended in a pretty satisfying way for me. Uh, I just think that everything else other than those things were uh, were bad, like unforgivably bad. Yeah. I don't think that the writing was there. No. I don't. I think it was taking this stuff way too seriously. It needed it needed to go either way more into the, the the comedy, or it needed to just hire somebody that understands how people talk to each other. And it, it just yes, was it yes. was cringy in a kind of in in too dumb of a way to get me back into the, the director movie. wrote it uh, David Gordon Green and get this Joe. Maybe this is where some of the comedy comes from. Danny McBride is a writer on I this. I saw that. I didn't know if it was like the Danny Scott McBride. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, okay. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah. I, I can see that. He does not have a, an eye for horror or, yeah. or horror writing. Yeah. And I don't I don't I don't get it. So I'm gonna go below average four out of ten. Whoo shit. Okay. Um yeah. put me on the spot. I I just really enjoyed the kills, and I thought the characters were stupid as well, but I liked seeing them get fucking brutalized and killed. It's like, if you are going to break up into smaller groups, and you're going to be like, <laughs> I'm going to go after Michael, you're going to get fucked up, and they get fucked up, I and it was glorious. Go. That's the entire film, though, so I'm like, yes. So, I, but there are moments that... that that annoy me I too, to the point where the I hate scene. the characters. And yeah, and here's another thing, Joe. And I, when we watched our previous review, and I'll check out Alex's score uh, in the spoiler section and share it with y'all. But um, you said that you were like, man, I wish we had more Jamie Lee Curtis in that film, right? 
Well, again, we don't really get much Jamie Lee Curtis because she had been previously fucked up and brutalized by him. So she's in the hospital most of the time. And now, most of the time, she dumb never scenes leaves. She's like, hey, you remember that one time? It's like, yes. goddamn, she never fucking does anything. And it's like, this that's the only but, 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 shitty part. I get the whole that. town I get is doing that. it. It's like, please don't let her leave. She right. fucking needs medical And then they assistance. say something about mobs and mob mentality and how fucking stupid <laughs> yeah. can people can be monsters. when they get riled people, up by people. People are smart. They're turning people into monsters. And you know what? I that I think that's legit, too. It but is, anyways, no. I'm going to go with a 7 out of 10. I, I think it has problems, but I liked it better than the previous one, which I gave it a 6, six out of 10. Mm. So for me, um, I, I'm, I'm, I'm thinking it's – hopefully it goes towards an amazing, an amazing payoff here in Halloween Ends because – I learned There's right one more? before. Yes, I learned right before I walked into the theater. What? I was like, "No, I don't want to watch this." Because I learned that there's a, a new, uh, they're already, you know, the, doing another one, the Halloween Kills sequel called Halloween Ends. Uh, they revealed the titles. Halloween Kills was supposed to be released October 16th, 2020, and Halloween Ends is supposed to be released on October 15th, 2021. But everything was just sh shifted one. So Halloween Ends is going to end this little trilogy that we got mm. from these people and, 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 you know, wrap it up. So I was going in it hating it, and it still managed to win me over with all of those brutal kills and... Uh, being such an entertaining slasher. Wow, Bill Shatner, the real Bill, Sh Bill Shatner gets to go to space, and the mask of I Bill Sh Shatner goes into a fucking porter potty in a porter potty tank. And yeah, I just love that it's William Shatner. This yeah. is such a cool fucking thing. And and when you stare at that fucking lifeless mask and those these beady eyes, it's it's Ed fucking Shatner. great. And I'm like, all right, I get it, I get it now with Michael Myers, a I seven like foot it. tall Bill Shatner Th stabbing you. These re this one is starting to make me like Michael Myers when I was never really a fan. It's actually kind of slowly turning me into a fan. We'll see how they, if they do don't fuck it up here at the end. Right, so this last like one the has to be this last this one. one. I, just, I like the original, one. but then they get really stupid. Right, the, we, the we ignore the witch. We ignore all those ones. The right? season of, they they do have a season of the witch yes, Easter egg. That is true. Yeah, we'll turn turn over, about it in yeah, well, it's not really a spoiler. It's just a stupid ass. We'll map. talk about it in spoilers, okay. uh, and we'll do spoilers right now. So thank y'all. No Buster Rhymes. So much for watching. No Buster <laughs> Rhymes. That's negative seven points for Joe. Yes. And uh, we will <laughs> we'll see you in the spoiler section. Thank you for watching. Hey, welcome to the spoiler section. So, uh, what was the part that made you laugh out loud, Joe? And you're like, uh, the part where it's like, hey, evil dies tonight. Everyone, grab a gun. You ever use one? No, here, fucking. You, you get a anyway. shotgun then. You There's... get a shotgun. It's like, hey, I'm gonna put my kids in danger. It's like, hey, Michael's in there, little little kid. Let's go in there. Yeah, like, you're a fucking idiot. Yeah, you're, this is this whole you, thing. You guys all deserve to die. Fucking Tommy's like, and then they die That's Mike in Myers. glorious ways. And I'm That's like, yes. Mike Myers in the hospital. Satisfying. Then, like, the mob. They yeah. satisfyingly die. Joe. There's a five foot tall uh, man that's like <laughs> limping through the He's hospital like, that help, everyone's like confusing. That's like, help me, I'm injured. And they're like, yeah. that's Michael Myers. So this is the subplot uh, that they throw in here. I think they said two people yeah, escaped. Yeah, I was looking for yeah. the other only, one. only one yeah. so far. It's interesting. He comes out in um, the end. <laughs> and yeah, they initially think Michael's in this car. Uh, in you know, while they're talking about Michael and celebrating in the bar, they come out and this car just drives off. I'm like, look, Michael doesn't fucking drive cars. I knew That's for a exactly fact that that wasn't look, Michael. Michael doesn't drive. Michael doesn't use guns. All right. right. He so doesn't do he's any not, of those. Yeah. That's not him. It turned out to be the uh, mental patient he's trying escape. To get some, like, Eventually, he's trying to he finds his way to the hospital. He's asking people for help because he's all slashed up after running, running, running the car, running the car into a pole. And uh, people are like, "Oh, that's Michael," because 
Uh, Tommy's character has gotten everybody into a, f- a all frothed up fury. Yes, I hated that, and Karen too. Karen's yeah, but like, I liked that in the sense it's like let's go fucking kick this guy's ass. I, I'm in every horror movie. It's like God damn it, fucking band together, grab a bunch of fucking guns, and go over there and do it. Don't be like oh I'm gonna wait for the police, and I'm gonna and, and one cop shows up and gets his fucking ass killed. So this was basically satisfying and payoff for me. When I wanted it in other, team? I wanted Let's it in other up. horror movies, <laughs> yeah. and I get it here, and it's like, well, Michael is a fucking threat that level that is above what these people are capable of, I, I, and I so we get that. glorious fucking. I killed. said this from the get go. It's like, how the fuck are you gonna get Michael Myers when you got the senior citizen? And then again? another, and then another thing <laughs> is that you you want the kills to be glorious, and they are, they but are. you also they want are. the characters to be interesting who get killed because you don't give a fuck about them. But everybody that they it, it here was interesting that gets killed. Uh, you know, the Big John, Little John scene who are living in Michael Myers' house. A bunch of punk ass kids steal their candy. They're like, you fuckers, you know who lives here and it that re- gets them that returns to bite them in the ass because michael mm-hmm. it ends up going home and they do this another subplot where it's like i'm jamie lee curtis and i've been through all of the movie well most of the movies now and he's coming after me and the cops are like no he's coming after me because long ago and they do a, the opening scene right where they do where michael's killing people and one of the cops uh actually shoots his partner on accident with the blood and he feels bad but he's such a good guy he's like no don't don't shoot michael because the doctor was going to shoot michael in the back of the head and he saves it so he's like this is all my fault he's coming after me and it's like no, and it turns out me, no, me. it turns out that michael only really wanted to go back home and look at his reflection in his sister's window that's all he wanted yeah. to do and everybody's just getting in this motherfucker's way just get, get out of his way get out of his fucking house and let him stare at his reflection so that's stupid. So well, they got, it is stupid the, that he's standing there now. The looking lady at was like minding her own business. He just goes in there and kills. It's like okay, well they didn't. It's really a stop fucking him, straight okay line, I guess. He walks through houses. I'm bored of slash. Okay, well, I'm okay with that. Kill I'm okay There's with no that. There's no doubt slash. he likes killing. Look, okay I was telling you guys, once you get, uh, once you turn like do like freshly sharpen your knives or buy a brand new knife, there's nothing more satisfying than like slicing it's through like, some ooh, stuff. And for him, nice. it's people. For me, it's like onions and shit, like normal saying things. But like I get it. I understand where he's coming. Coming from, and when he was You're getting a little his ass, bit of a psycho killer. Yes, no, but no, 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 no. I don't, I don't come, look, you, 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 you don't get to eat any of that food tomorrow. Then, if you're, <laughs> no, you're no, I understand too. When I'm fucking cutting things and cutting meat up, it feels good. It's so a good it sharp knife. Feels yeah. good to Michael. Uh, I actually was so upset at people in this. Everyone else in this movie. At the end, they kind of rally together to beat him up. Uh, and you know they none of them d- do anything to actually kill him. They stab him in the back, and they could have cut his head off right, at any point. They could have fucking brutalized. But they don't do his any of that stuff. His fucking head. They do nothing. And they, as they're beating him up, I'm like, oh come on, let me pull the poor Michael up. He needs to kill all you people because yes. I hate you. Yeah. I yes. want you all to do die. That, they narrate on the other side. Even Curtis is like, oh the. He feeds on every kill he gets. He gets more powerful, and he's feeding on the town's fear and stuff. And and then right there, he's been in jail for thirty years. But nothing he fucking gets up. Well, he's super powerful right now because the whole fucking town's going fucking. Crazy. Yeah, but they're making they're changing the story because they're trying to get us to buy into like new a lore, supernatural and, part. Yeah, and I don't have no problem if it's like a supernatural thing. The, the issue is it's done in the laziest, stupidest yes. way possible, and it just it just fell completely and totally flat. If if he is truly like pure evil i'm in let's do that shit the issue i have yeah. is he's been in a mental institution for 30 fucking years I no one in the shit t- about 30 years you keep bringing up 30 years well, over and over who fucking cares are the whole town cares that's the issue he's yeah, been he's, he's been, killing fucking 11 it's it's probably up to like 30 30 people right now 30 years ago no, right now it's thirty years. That's why everybody got into the fervor to go out and fucking they were, find he, him They and were kill frothed him. up before they. No, know. they weren't. Four people were. They were drunk in a fucking bar, and, and everybody's like, "Can you quiet the fuck down?" And then, and then when they realize what's going on on the news, they're like, "Oh shit!" Yeah. Where, they even apologize. It's like, "Hey, we're sorry. Let's fucking go get this." Yeah, guy. it's just it's it had been a dead issue for forever, and then now they're making up new things. Like every kill, he gets more powerful. It's like you don't know any of that. You're just making stuff up to try to set up this new movie. <laughs> well, yeah. Yeah, there's H2O another movie count, coming. Right? Yeah, H two O doesn't count. And it yes, does. it doesn't count anymore. None of the other ones. So it's only Halloween one and two, and then this lo- the last one from last from 2018 that count now. And it, it does seem like they're setting up a supernatural element because if you remember, okay you that. look at the fucking window. Uh, one of the characters, the daughter of Jamie Lee Curtis, 
uh, looks at the window. Sees a clown look at things? Sees a, I guess it was his sister that he killed in the window. But then when she looks again, it's gone. Yeah. The little clown, that was him back in the day. Because he. Oh, yeah, was it? That's him. Oh, shit. Yeah, yeah that's him. No, okay. That's I him as a little some... boy. All right. And All then right, he cool. violently murders Judy okay, Greer. Okay, so, so yeah. Oh, so you think Judy Greer. Uh, okay, so eventually the granddaughter character of Jamie Lee Curtis uh, uh, teams up with two other people. I'm like, this is so Wait, fucking she's going stupid. With the shotgun. Her little boyfriend <laughs> character and his father, who is that kid from the original that fell Lonnie. down. Or they. Sh- <sighs> I don't know if it was from the original. Uh, or they just filmed this scene to where you know he fell yeah. down. I can't remember that long ago. But anyways, um, he's like, no. And then when they get to the house, he's like, we know where he's going. They know where he's going, but they don't fucking tell anybody else. They go over there by themselves. Yep. They know how many people he's killed at this point. And this is where I understand when just like, just <laughs> and then when they get there, the guy's like, you two stay here. I'm gonna. I gotta do this alone. It's and like, who I was the like, fuck are you? You deserve what's coming to you. Yeah. You well, well, he was also stuff. drunk. So like, <laughs> he's drinking. He's, he's like, was pounding oh coffee because he's been drinking in the bar the whole night. Yeah. So they go in there. He gets his ass killed. You hear one gunshot, and and when they eventually go in there after him, and they have they bring their own guns. It's the like, motherfuckers. You should have just gone in three of you with the fucking guns and shot him up. But no, because I mean they're idiots. Dumb. And so he's dead in the fucking attic because blood is dripping down when they're going through the thing. And then Michael bursts out of the fucking the closet. closet and just fucking starts stabbing the boyfriend. Carrie. I was like, D- he brutalizes this dude. I this honestly thought great. the granddaughter was going to shoot the dad because whenever mm-hmm. she opens the door, she's just like, he just shoots. she got a shotgun blast. She just yeah. shoots. Mm-hmm. I was like, you don't even know who's you don't back know who's there. there. Yeah. It's like, you need some. Yeah. But my, he's in Michael's <laughs> house. You, you don't go in this fucking house. So eventually she, the Michael kills her fucking boyfriend. He's like snapping his neck and fucking throwing him back and forth. She's like, no, come on, get me. Come after me. I'm like, shut the fuck up. You know, it's yeah. like you, you're not special and she thinks she's special. But this, I kind of like this though. I think that movie is doing this on purpose where it's like, shut up. And then he comes down there and I hate that she has plot armor because she definitely has plot armor. Yeah. Oh, They're for def- sure. She's this like is what they were doing in the first film, it. too, right? Mm-hmm. She falls down the stairs. She breaks her ankle. At the very least, she breaks her ankle. And Michael's going to come fuck her up, but, you know, her mom shows up. But she daughter. had silently, without words, set up a huge plan and was clued in by her mother yeah. uh, while her boyfriend was getting mur- murdered. And like this whole thing, it's like her. her she has this detailed plan, and the, they haven't talked yep. at all. Her mom just shows up, and stabs has this great like, plan, do it, do it and now. she brings the rest of the town hidden somewhere else. She basically rips off uh, his mask. They don't show his face. I was like, "Fuck!" We can see that see his he's face. bald. Yeah, he, yeah, and he's old. Well, and she had him killed. She had him stabbed in the back, and she was kicking him in the head when he's on the stairs. And it's like you could easily just stabbed him more, and then he would have been dead. Yeah, you wouldn't need to do all that. Boom, boom. Do not fucking stop. Chop off his head. You got to get as crazy as Michael if you want to kill Michael. Well, they don't, and then they all die, and it's great. Right. Exactly. That's what I like about it. But anyway, she leads him away, and he follows her, and then she puts him into a trap. His mask is there, and then you got probably about 20 people show up with fucking knives. He puts his face back on, and he goes, "You're not. I'm not trapped in here with you. Let's fucking do this. You're trapped in here with me. I am no one's bitch. You are all my bitch. And I fucking loved it, man. This is worth but more than three points. No, Joe. hell no, no, no. no. They, yes, they beat is. his no. ass for no reason, and he should be dead, and then they do this voiceover. Why are you saying it's bad because there, it, there's no logic in it? That's that move. That That's what would happen if a bunch of fucking idiots show up with crowbars, and they beat the shit they out of him. They shot him like seven Nobody times. Nobody expects his supernatural element. They don't expect that he's going to be able to get up after being killed, you know, Shot a 50, 50 fucking times. Yeah, but no. that's what happens. So yeah, then he gets again, up, and kills no. all these people. Uh-huh, again. That's when I thought that somebody shot somebody else with the pistol. So I know he gets shot at least four times, but before that, there was one person that shot. The security guard thought, also shot him a bunch of times. I like, thought it went through yeah. and hit somebody else, but I guess not. No. All but, right. Again, like, why the fuck would you even get so close to him? Mm-hmm. Yeah, <laughs> it's very stupid, but we have perfect information. We know way more about Michael than these people well, do. Well, I mean, like you were saying, they script. said that if, if they were so worried about his body count and, like, they're still all frothed up and, like, worried about this dude, they should know better. Yeah. So, yes. no, I give them no, Like, they're all stupid. They deserve to die, and I don't want to see a third. So then he picks up, he kills all the people, and the <laughs> daughter of Jamie Lee Curtis goes up the steps 
I don't know what the fuck she's doing. She's like, pa- she's invading a crime scene. Window. It's totally illegal. She can't be doing that shit. Right, and then she looks through the window as if, as he does, and then just then he shows up behind her. I'm like, well, bitch, you deserved it, and he fucking stabs the shit out of her. So we lose a main character. She's uh, trying to salvage her career. She's like, please get me out of this franchise. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, the granddaughter's still alive, and Jamie Lee Curtis is still alive, and the cop that saved. Michael's life is still alive. There's Frank no way she could do like anything. That. Jamie Lee Curtis well, was she, in one room the whole. Like she was in a yeah, hospital bed wasted. the entire That's movie. That's why I was like seven out of ten. They make the trailer. You're right. They make the trailer look like let's fucking get him. Yeah, He's fucking dead. I and I was like, yes, we're gonna fucking showdown. We get no showdown. No. So negative three points for that. Evil dies tonight, just not this night. Yeah. Ne- next ne- next night. night. <laughs> Well, you, said, you, said, you said two night. I mean, two, two night, night next we a, year. We got a three film deal here. So I was honestly gonna get pissed. Like if Jamie was uh, out and about after after that thing, I was like, man, I got my my. Uh, oh, well, damned ep- if you do, damned if you don't, oh, Joe. Man, no, because I got my appendix out. The next day, I'm like, oh, I can't even yeah. walk. I can't well, even she did sit fucking up. inject herself with some goddamn morphine. She didn't have whatever to do that the fuck that, that was. She didn't have to stab herself. I know, right? If she's like, like doing the slasher thing. Yourself. She's like, I'm fucking tough. I would have been like. You don't like needles, though. Like, Maybe she doesn't like needles. <laughs> Anyways, I, this film actually does make me excited for the final one, but I think the potential ah, for, for them to f- fuck it up is huge. Because uh, So it went from six, seven. I'm hoping it can end on eight or nine. I, I, I want this one to finish where he just kills everybody. Yeah, I agree. And he, yeah. it's, this but no you don't says, want Michael to die. You don't. No, want no. Him as to of right now, I want everyone in this city okay. to die horribly since, and slowly. This, since this is the spoilers, let's speculate. How are they going to end this? Joe, is it going to be a final fight between Jamie and her, him? And There's is she, no she going to have no power way. to like her knife stabs are more powerful than everybody else's knife stabs? No, he just disappears. He fades. Okay, out. that's how you think. Are, are you being serious? Yeah, because well, there's no way she can go toe to toe with this guy. Because okay. after that, like, she's already old. She's got uh-huh. like a fucking slash. And he's she already shown her. to be stronger than grown ass men. Yeah, so there's he's no a big dude, way. Yeah. yeah. Uh, I want Michael to win, or I think they will kill Michael and they will do the bullshit thing where someone. Uh, like you see a hand grab the mask, put it on, and stands in front of the window, and then the end scene. And the writers are sitting there going, "Yeah, we're gonna do more of these." Do you think they'll bring in Jason's mother? Remember his vulnerability from other fucking films. Do you think they'll do the Jason's mother thing? No, she's no. Dead. Okay, I do think they'll do the final battle between Jamie Lee Curtis. I do think she'll die, and it seemingly he will die as well, so that they can have a conclusion to their little trilogy. But then right at the end, there has to be something. That music has to start. Music's so iconic. Something she has to She did have that line. He's like, I'm okay with me slicing off his head and him slicing off my Mine. head. So maybe they She's both foreshadowed. Go. They, They're going to yeah, cut they each other's head off? What? They're going to cut they, each they other's heads off. They both die. They, okay. they find katanas, and they have I like an epic duel where they I just like... Gonna have. Frank's gonna sacrifice himself because he says I, I love you or she's like I always liked you and he's like I love you that one time. remember that one time that we held her hands yeah, and I kissed you that one time and 30 we, years ago the thing is, like, I don't really like the granddaughter character but she's no. gonna be the one that survives yeah. and, I, and I, I agree with Alex I hope because uh, she seems to have plot Mike armor Myers kills her I hope everyone dies she seems to have plot armor th- further f- from these first two so she's probably gonna survive the third one all right well let us know how you think this is going to yeah. end. In Halloween ends next year, we will see you next year. <laughs> I will buy the mask, and I will have a knife for next year, and we'll see how it ends and whether they do justice to Michael Miles. Do you believe this film was uh, fun and does justice, or do you think it was way too stupid and um, it's hilarious? It's not a thriller. Horror. And comedy. Yeah. I like the, I liked the comedy aspects in there. It was just entertaining. All right, guys. That's oh, wait. No, I forgot about that. Uh, the sheriff with the cowboy hat. Yeah, he, he was in the hospital. He's looking nothing. all sad. And yeah, he's gonna be it. in the third one. That's it. Yeah. He couldn't stop the people's fervor, is what his. Yeah, they plot murdered was. an innocent person. He feels bad. No, yeah. because uh, in the hospital they were chasing the mental hospital patient. The daughter of Jamie Lee Curtis is like, "No, I'm gonna save you," and but she can't save him. Like, I don't think people would be that ridiculous like i understand everybody's in a firm they're chasing him down but if she's screaming and the leader's screaming that's not him while the doors are closed uh, somebody has they know how tall listen, michael myers is right? they know he's seven this feet tall short little fucking penguin they know dude. he's seven feet Fly. tall trembling he throws oh, himself please. out the window and then the whole crowd is like oh shit maybe we shouldn't have done that 
Yeah. Oh yeah. well, let's oh, go well. home. <laughs> it was it was commentary. It was definitely social commentary. Uh, yeah. Forced a little bit. Um, Anyways. Yeah, that's. He, he that's needed to be else. a foot. T- he needed to be a foot taller for me to believe any of that shit. The, the sheriff, that guy, any kind of red herrings. Oh, the season of the witch. Oh yeah, the masks. yeah, yeah, yeah. The god. I saw it twice. It's fucking terrible. They had those stupid, the pumpkin, the witch, or they had the little it's the uh, witch, leprechaun. the pumpkin, and the I which one. ghost but or something. They have like, like the little that. leprechaun, the four leaf clover yeah. in yeah. the back. And Michael ends up killing little kids, like r- trick or treaters, just like fucking one, he, one he, head. Yeah, he cuts the head off. off. Oh, the other two kids, that's right. Get they away. Get away. They run away. Um, but yeah, so he's a pumpkin head, and or the skull head, and then there's a pumpkin head, and then there's the witch. Uh, so Michael does end up killing some of the old people that escaped. I do think the series will end with all the old people that managed to escape Michael will will die before the end of the series. I think they're already dead. So there's, Who's left? There's, Tom, there's Tommy. The girl. There's the cop. Tommy's dead. Oh, that's right, because he had this <laughs> yeah. baseball. And they keep making it seem like he's like a fucking badass. It's yeah, like, you're going to get your... You're right, cool. No, like, no, you're not. Swing no, away. Cool. It's like that movie yeah. was stupid, too. Uh, okay, so he's dead, but the the uh, the security guard. Well, I guess the security guard is dead. Hawkins, the guy that got shot in the neck. He's the only one that survived. Right. That's yeah. It. No. That's the, the only the one. The security left. guard's dead. Oh, yeah. The he, security. Yeah. Because he went to go shoot. Died. He's like a oh, surprise. He got right. too close. Got okay. Cut. Okay. Oh, so who's left? The girl. The girl. Which, the which girl? The, the granddaughter, and then the original girl from the seventies is alive. The one that ran away and hid by the lake. Yes. Oh yeah, yes. She yes, was yes. yeah. So she's alive somewhere. So there's that one, so and then uh, Frank, uh, who was in the hospital bed next to Jamie, and then of course Jamie Lee Curtis, and now the granddaughter. So those four characters, um, and I think the granddaughter is going to be the only one that survives. It's going to be fucking annoying. Okay, I <laughs> think that's yeah. it for this one. Thank you guys yeah. so much for watching. I'm very curious to see, for those of you who have watched it, what your opinions are. Leave it in the comments down below. And thank you to our sponsor, Surfshark, guys. Mm-hmm. Seriously, they are the best VPN. Not only can you use them on unlimited devices and uh, share it with your friends and family, but also, uh, you know, you can get around that geo blocking that they like to do and, yeah. and watch maybe some of the older Halloweens on different services. So thank you all so much for watching and click those links down below to support our show. And thank you so much for watching. We'll see you on the next Angry Joe show. Bye, Bye guys. guys.